hello students welcome back in the last session we have discussed glass box testing technique in today's session we will discuss black box testing black box testing is a testing technique which is based on exploring parts through the specification so let's start with black box testing black box testing is a top software testing method in which the functionalities of software applications are tested without having knowledge of internal code structure implementation details and internal parts in case of black box testing the tester may not have the knowledge of uh, internal code structure implementation or internal parts so black box testing it is mainly based on the functionality of a software black box tests are constructed without looking at the code to be tested unlike uh, the white box uh, testing where the test cases are constructed by looking at the code in the software in black box testing the tests are constructed without looking at the code to be tested black box testing allows testers and implementers to be drawn from separate population in white box testing uh, the tester and implementer should be the same because the tester should have the knowledge of code to be tested but in case of black box testing tester uh, should not be should not have the knowledge of internal code and that is the reason the tester and implementer can be drawn from a separate population in case of black box testing both of them can be different a uh, developer may develop the code and the tester may test it separately developers of commercial software often have quality assurance group that are largely independent of development groups in commercial software development they have a separate group of people uh, to test the software and they call it as quality assurance group that are largely independent of the development groups if you look at the diagram here which explains the black box testing where tester only concentrates on the input or set of inputs and the output which is generated by the uh, code whereas the internal structure of the code to be tested it is not known to the tester and that is why it is called as black box testing the internal details are not known okay how to do black box testing executor in the next step then the software tester compares the actual output now when the test cases are executed the output which is generated that is called as the actual output with the expected output which the tester has already determined in the previous step the expected output so the actual output is compared with the expected output if actual output and expected output are same then it means the test is successful or test has been passed otherwise if actual output and the expected output are not same that means there is some problem in the uh, code and if there is any problem in the code that needs to be fixed and re 
tested. So, defects if there are any defects if any are fixed in the next step and it is retested. So, if there are any defects or those defects are fixed and again the system under test is retested. So, this is how black box testing is carried out. Okay, there are different types of black box testing. There are many types of black box testings, uh, but the following are some prominent ones. These are functional testing, non functional testing, and regression testing. Functional testing. Uh, this is black box testing type is related to the functional requirements of the system. This functional testing it is used to test the functional requirement of the system. The system it checks uh, whether the system works as per uh, the functional requirements given by the client or customer and it is done by the software tester functional testing it is done by the testers. Then we have non-functional testing. So, this type of black box testing it is not related to uh, testing specific functionality of the system, but non-functional requirements such as performance, scalability, usability. So, these things are tested in non-functional testing. So, non-functional uh, requirements are not directly related to the functionality of the system. So, these things are tested in non-functional testing. We have regression testing. Regression testing is done after code fixes, upgrades or any other system maintenance to check the new code has not affected the existing code. So, regression testing it is usually done after code fixes if we have done any modification in the previous code. So, after those modifications the regression testing is done or even regression testing is done after upgrades in the software. So, if we have upgraded our software and after those upgrades the regression testing is performed or even it is performed after uh, some maintenance uh, work which is carried on on the software and this is usually uh, done to check a new code which has been included in the software does not affect the existing code which is there in the software. So, that is regression testing. So, these are few prominent uh, types of black box testing techniques.